I'm a true believer in being an overcomer. Not just because the Bible says it, but also because I'm experiencing it myself. Hi, my name is Alyssa Haijon. In the past, I struggled with certain addictions. You might be wondering what it is, but today, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Instead, I will tell you of my journey through it. So, these addictions affected my studies, my relationships with my family and friends, my perspective on things, and the list goes on. Along the way, I could sense that God was speaking to me that what I did was wrong, and I had dreams that I knew for sure they were from God. I remember this one dream where everyone was in the field, and it was Jesus' second coming. He brought some people back with him, but I was not one of them. I remember feeling scared and questioning why I am not in the group. And I had similar dreams several times, and it's all about me not being included in the group going back to heaven. It really scared me, and I tried making commitments to stop. But years passed, and I always ended up going back to square one. I was a slave to sin. I felt powerless. I just could not escape from my prison of addictions. Long story short, God intervened by putting certain people in my life. And through the working of the Holy Spirit, I started studying the Bible for myself, reading the spirit of prophecies, and develop a personal relationship with God. I was born Adventist, and I've been active in church since I was a kid, but it really doesn't mean anything if you don't have a real relationship with God. During that time, I was getting better, and I was free from my addiction. Or so I thought. One day, I fell into the same sin again, and that night, I remember, I was in so much guilt because I failed to keep my promises to God. And there was a thought telling me that God had completely cast me away and I almost gave up on myself. But at that moment, I remembered a friend told me that if I feel guilty about something, that means the Holy Spirit is still working in me. After that, I began praying like never before for God to forgive my sins. My sins have separated me from God and I could literally feel the separation. I felt God was so far away from me. It was hard for me to let go of those addictions, but I pressed on and fervently asked God to heal me inside out. In that process, it hit me that all this while, I've never fully surrendered to God. I did everything with my own strength and effort. By God's grace, I slowly began to understand what righteousness by faith really means and what it means to take God at His word. I truly experience the power of God's word as it has changed my heart and desires. Today marks more than three years of overcoming these addictions and I truly praise God for that. Through that experience, I realized one thing. God is able if you let Him. In Philippians 2 verse 13, it says, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. I now believe that God alone can bring true healing and restoration. And the Bible even says in Romans 8.37 that we can be more than conquerors through him who loved us. From that experience too, I was led to think of this. What about emotional wounds? Can God help me to be an overcomer in that area of my life too? He definitely can. I have learned that rather than just burying and ignoring the traumas and emotional wounds in our lives, we should address it just like how we care for a physical wound. We don't just cover the wound without cleaning it first because that will cause infection. Same goes with an emotional wound. When we don't deal with our traumas, we carry it with us. It influences how we think about God, how we relate to others, how we feel, how we think about people and stuff, 
and those can be barriers in our spiritual and personal growth. Because of that, it is very important that we get healing in those areas too. I know I have a lot of emotional healing to do. Distrust, bitterness, unforgiveness, fear of the past and many others. And I used to think that I'm not going to be free from all those feelings for the rest of my life. And I just need to learn how to live with them. But I realized that it really hindered my growth. I hide my brokenness by doing God's work like canvassing, giving Bible studies, and so on. And doing those things did give me a sense of satisfaction and purpose because I got to help others. But deep down, I knew I used those as distractions to escape from my pain and I knew I had to deal with it. Now, God is slowly leading me from forgiveness to reconciliation giving me courage to break off some relationships, helping me deal with my negative emotions. God has led me to see that His Word is indeed powerful enough to make me an overcomer, not just in certain areas, but in every area of my life. Jesus came to earth and became a human like us, and was tempted in all points, yet without sin. So he understands what we are going through. He can identify with our sufferings and weaknesses. And his life on earth is also a proof that we can overcome any sin in life through abiding in God. I am still healing and I have yet to figure out everything in life. But I know for sure that he can make me whole in him. Surely he wants me to have true freedom because John 8:32 says so. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You might be struggling with certain addictions like video games, alcohol, food, internet, pornography, or even with the quote-unquote good stuff. Or you might have certain traumas in life like feeling neglected, abuse in any forms, separation, loss, grief, and many others. I just want to encourage you to believe in the power of God's Word. Get to know God personally, and He will show you what true victory is in every area of your life. Don't try harder, but surrender more. Never ever give up on God and on yourself.